Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 19. And the good news, I don't think there's anything in this episode about pigs. Stand under correction, of course. <laughs> no, there isn't. The first thing that we have is we have a rooster problem. So we have too many roosters. Couldn't understand why everything was full, but I could see all these roosters all over the place. And so we have to sell all the roosters. We only need one rooster per... Well, we only need basically four roosters. So we're going to sell all the extra roosters and then we'll have to add that onto our daily task to check up on any ma uh, male chicks that are born so that we can sell them off. Well, we don't actually sell the chicks off. Um, they come and get collected. It doesn't cost us anything. But... Um, yeah, once a day somebody comes around and collects them, basically. So let's just have a look. See, we'll go through all the all the all four pens or all four coops, and uh, we'll sell off all the roosters. That'll make up quite a bit of space to get some more egg-laying females in. There we go. That looks better fine looking roosters we do we did have but uh, yeah they've all been moved on it was quite amazing the cacophony of crowing in the morning couldn't work out what it was but of course it was just the roosters waking up i think we've got just about all of them Emails? No, we're not going to sell them. It just caught my eye as I was doing the delivery of, uh, of well, as I was feeding them. I thought to myself, there's, there's a lot of roosters around. Let me check it up. And I'd obviously forgotten to do that. So it's normally one of the first things I do with chickens is make sure that we deal with the male chicks. In any event, that's been done. We've caught up on that. We'll just we've still got a, a little bit of uh, barley left, so we'll take that over to the mill and get it made into flour and feed it to the bakery. Yeah, so they, uh, that's also working out quite well. So I will buy in a full load of barley feed the chickens every morning and whatever's left over goes into the mill so this is just under 5,000 litres going into the mill um, it makes enough to keep the bakery going although the mill isn't fully occupied we'll have to look at that when we start um, harvesting some of our grains well there is a little bit of pigs <laughs> was just uh, checking to make sure that we had got enough feed in them and they are okay so it's just part of the daily routine that right so I'm looking to fill up all the little empty spaces with greenhouses the big problem is they've only got 6,400 euros at the moment and I found these small greenhouses that um, come with a map no man's land for mushrooms and flowers and I'm thinking that they might work quite well so we're going to have a look and see if we can get some going or we might also just have a look and see if we get some orchards going with 10,000 each can't quite afford to buy them just yet Maybe we'll have a look at the bank. They're all 10,000, aren't they? Yeah. No, bank manager says no. We don't have anything available. We've got 269,000 euros outstanding. So we'll go and look and look for places to put up a, 
a mushroom greenhouse and then we'll do a flower greenhouse as well and see how they work. Let's have a look. I think this is probably going to be the best spot but we'll just look around the farm. There will be a little bit of... The problem is everything is not, not level around the place so... That's uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem. As you go up there, you can see it's going to it's going to create quite a bit of. Uh, it's going to need a bit of um, landscaping. I could fit one in there. Not that keen on putting one there just yet because we've. Got that as our delivery area from the store, so definitely don't put it on the road. Let's have a look around the back somewhere. That's quite a bit of landscaping that needs to be done there. Still a bit done there. Uh, a little bit, but not too much there. We'll just do, whenever we put these up, we'll just do the save and then... Um, and then put them up and uh, if there's too much effect from the landscaping, then we'll uh, just go back and uh, try again. <laughs> interesting a nice little spot down there but it might create a bit of a problem with the turning circle of harvesters and such like anything up here I might might be able to get something down the back here no not really there's a bit of, we could put one in there somewhere along the line yeah, a little bit loath to use that area at the moment Potatoes are really planted patchy with that small planter. We'll have to rethink that the next time we do it. Seem to have missed quite a few patches. That's an option as well. There's not too much landscaping that needs to be done there. pushing it a bit. But I think this is where we're going to do it. This is where I feel is going to be the best place for it. We might be able to squeeze another one in next, next to it. There we go, that's that done. Given a, left a little bit of space for work down there, but we normally work straight down that line, so of the of the field. That's great stuff. Right, let's have a quick look at it. I think it only needs water, so it's not too much of a, a problem. Nice wooden greenhouse, raised beds, looks good. 100 litres of water produces 100 mushrooms. That's not too bad. Cycles per month, 144, that's pretty good. Right, so we'll need to bring water into here. Let's go and have a look and see what the flowers... Yeah, they also generate a nice bit of income. So they both generate over 2,000 income. The flowers do have an option. You can either sell them or at the uh, grain store. So I think we'll put this one. 
amongst the trees as we're coming into the farm get a bit of color that's why I didn't that's why I saved that area there so we'll get a bit of color from the flowers growing as they come in let's get some water in so we can go and put some water into the into those two new greenhouses and in the next episode we should be able to see how much we get from the sale of mushrooms and um, and flowers I'm not sure how much water it takes so I didn't really do any experiments on it but um, we'll take a full load over and see what see if we need to take more over or whether we have enough Yeah, at least we're not doing a, a whole lot of work on the pigs today. <laughs> uh, yeah. They are pretty happy though. Oh, came in too fast there. That um, water tanker holds 10,000 litres of water. So the poor... Poor holy man doesn't have a problem pulling it, just has a, a problem stopping it. <laughs> it pushed you down the hill there. So we'll have to be a little bit careful on that. Coming a bit slower. Is it going to take it all? I don't know. No, only 5,000 litres. Wow. It's probably going to be, have to be filled up a couple of times a day. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. 5,000 litres, so it'll only make five, five pellets of mushrooms. Well, it's not, it's not too bad though. There we go, mushrooms are growing. No brown mushrooms, only white mushrooms. I suppose brown mushrooms would be lost in the colour pellet, but still. Love these love the look of these greenhouses. Don't know why I've never noticed them before. I mean I've played plenty of times on maybe just haven't looked for them on uh, the, the times I've used no man's land for different things. That's what the boxes will look like. Those are obviously not saleable. Water goes in there. Yeah, good. Just jump in, we'll take the rest of the water. That's quite enough too, because it means one tanker can fill two, two greenhouses. Makes me think we should put another greenhouse down fairly close there somewhere. And uh, the same type of thing, maybe another mushroom greenhouse. We'll look at it in the next episode. And um, yeah, because then we can just take one tanker down and do both of them, fill it up, and take and put another another um, another um, what do we call them greenhouse for the flowers down here as well can't afford to do it now we don't have enough money but uh, we might uh, we'll see we might have to wait for the next month to be able to generate some more money just to put some more up so we'll We'll use those greenhouses in batches of two in the future. They're very cheap to put up, they only 1,500 to put up. I could technically put both of them up there, but then that will leave us with no um, no money in the kitty, so, so, so to speak. Let's get that activated. Oh, look at that, nice and colorful. Beautiful. Nice little mod, this. Fantastic. So we've got that all sorted out. Really 
it is looking good. Empty pellets in there, so can they move? Yep, I suppose we could move them if we had to. I suppose that's an indication of how they're going to be how the flowers are going to be packed, so that's quite nice, nice and easy to load. Right, let's get back into the tractor and we'll head on up back to the farm area and go and have a quick squiz and see how the compost is getting on. Uh, 30% fermented so that's not too bad quick nip back down to the so first pellet of flowers is out looks looking good just nip down to go and pick up the uh, the roller from uh, from when uh, after we finished rolling in the last episode we dropped off the roller at the at the field so just went went to go and pick that up basically just a bit of tidying up around the place then I think once we've dropped this off we'll nip on down and go and see how the mushrooms are doing see what they look like tractor needs a bit of a clean I think can see what there should be a pellet of mushrooms I would think if there's a pellet of flowers we should have a pellet of mushrooms as well go cross country yep there is one there yeah that's pretty standard Well, I think that that is where we're going to end this episode. Just have a quick look and see if the mushrooms have grown. Look pretty much the same size. <laughs> uh, in any event, let's jump back into the tractor and we'll uh, head off back to the farm and we'll probably have an early night and we'll see you in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.